The coaching profession and the principles that you learn if you were to go and do coach training and certification are really deeply rooted in science. And there's quite a lot in both the uh, psychology literature and the business literature to support many of the things we're going to talk about today and the other elements of the coaching approach for leaders model. One example of that is a psychologist, very famous psychologist uh, who was at Harvard, David McClellan, um, who did work on uh, humans mo human motivation and, and psychological needs. And he talked about these needs as being as important to us as the need for water or shelter or oxygen, uh, just because they were psychological needs, no, no different in terms of how big they were. And the three he identified were the need to achieve, the need for affiliation, and the need for power. And so by defining them as psychological needs, he was saying these aren't just things that we want that are sort of nice to have, they're things that we are pretty compulsively driven to get. So we'll take them one at a time. So the need to achieve, when you take a coaching approach, a lot of your effort is in helping your colleagues to figure out what they want and then help them to get it. It's doing that is helping them to achieve. So you're reinforcing one of their fundamental psychological needs. The second, the need for affiliation, is really about connection and authentic relationship. And as you saw in the conversation between Chris and Amanda, there's a real intimacy that's built in these conversations that is very connecting and really meets that second need for affiliation. And then third, the need for power. We interpret the need for power as the power to make choices unencumbered and to really be, in coaching language we say, at choice and being responsible for the choices that we're making. And when you're using a coaching approach, as again as you saw in that demonstration, you're really helping your colleague to have power over their own lives and their own choices. So a really powerful way that we're reinforcing some very basic fundamental human needs.